It's finally time for me to put my mower decks away for the winter. I've got done with the leaves. I'm going to show you two or three, you might say, different ways that you can store your mower deck. Let's get started. Both of the systems we've got here today stores the deck vertically. That saves a lot of space for most of us because if, if you don't, if you store them horizontally, that's a, a huge amount of space that's taken up by these decks. One question people often ask when storing a deck vertically is about the oil leaking out of the gearbox. There, there is a, a little vent hole here um, that can sometimes get plugged up over time, plugged up in a strange way such that it stays open and allows the oil to come out. So if you do store it on in, make a little provision to put something under there, maybe towels or a cardboard box or something. And when you take it back down next spring, check the oil in the gearbox to make sure it's, you know, it's got enough oil in it. You can also temporarily replace the uh, air vent with a little plug. I think it's an eighth inch pipe thread, but I'm not positive on that. You can take yours off and see. Don't mow with it like that, but you can, if, if you're really concerned about the oil leakage, you could take that off in the winter and then you could uh, replace the vent in the spring when you get ready to use it again. Let's start with this one. It's the, I would say the newest one on the market. I'm pretty excited about this. The, the result is that you've got a system that can be freely rolled around on the floor. Uh, of course, crazy wheels always have kind of go their own way, right? They're kind of crazy, but it doesn't take more than maybe 10 pounds of pull for me to move it anywhere on my floor. Really in order to make this uh, system work well, you need the load and goes. With these yellow brackets, the load and go brackets, you can pick your mower up with your loader and that keeps you from doing any manual lifting with this system. The other part of the system is right here. I showed you this bracket uh, in the gift ideas video a few days or weeks ago. There's one for each side and it goes where the uh, mower gauge wheel typically goes. Here's the mower gauge wheel right here. You take it out uh, in, in order for this bracket to work. These brackets were originally designed by Tony Johnson. I really appreciate his help on that. Uh, later, uh, it became just more than he could do to keep up with uh, the demand for these products. So Muds Customs has taken over and you can get these. They're called JD Deck Stands. Uh, make sure you get them for the mower that you want. He's just announced the 54 inch uh, JD deck stands for the new 2020 and later decks. This is a 60D, uh, but as long as you get the proper ones, they will fit in those axle holes just fine. They've got nice big caster wheels on them, uh, easy to roll around. There are locks on each caster. These are very professional. Let me show you how they're attached and detached. Before I get to the JD deck stand details, I want to talk just a little bit about the load and goes. The load and goes are available at greenpartsstore.com slash TTWT. They make them now for all of the newer deck styles, I believe. I'm not certain about the 60 inch uh, for the 2032 and 2038R. This is an incredible invention and it makes it easy actually to manage your mid-mount mower deck. Now, a lot of you that don't have John Deere mowers, as soon as we mention a bin mount mower deck, uh, you scoff and you say, oh, nobody, nobody should use one of those. That's too painful. That's, uh, they're, they're just not the, right, not the right answer. You should be mowing with a zero turn or something else. I, I get it, and you can mow faster with a zero turn, understand. But I can tell you that if you've got the John Deere and you get some of these accessories to make it easy to lift your deck so that you don't have to do any manual lifting and to store your deck, be able to move it around, this is pretty sweet. By being able to pick it up with the load and go, you can clean out on the back side. You, can, you have easy access to the bottom if you want to change the blades. I really like it. Now I have one beef with the load and go. You can see here it's shiny. I think this is my third or fourth set with the different tractors I've had. Each one of them has a very tight tolerance between the hook and the pin. And I've heard of several other viewers having the same issue that have had to grind it. This is the first one I've had to grind. The rest of them have had a tight fit, but eventually I could wear enough of the paint off 
uh, that it worked smoothly. In this case, I, I had to grind this. I, I was unable to get it to smoothly latch uh, at all. So I, I don't understand how come after all these years, I think it's been two years or more and a lot of complaints why they haven't figured out they need a little more distance between the hook and pin here on this particular bracket. But other than that, I mean, that's easily solved. Other than that, this is an incredible upgrade for your deer mower deck. And it just makes it simple to use. You might notice I don't have the pins in place. Uh, I often don't with this particular attachment with the load and go. Uh, typically, I don't have any issue with it. Now, I'm not recommending you to operate that way, uh, but when it's vertical, you know, it's not gonna come off very easily. So I typically don't put the pins in when I'm just gonna pick it up, move it a little bit and set it down. Maybe for you, Sally, I'll put it in. Okay, does that make you feel better? Okay, good. Now, this is how the JD deck stands work. Okay, here is the original mower axle. Maybe I should have showed this on the other side. I've got the chute here that's kind of uh, removing some of the visibility, but I think you get the point. So we remove the gauge wheel, right? And then we've got an equivalent sized axle right here on the JD deck stand. We can put that in. Okay, and then this pin fits directly in it. We've got a nice storage unit here on the back side where we can put the wheel. And then I've just been putting the pin in right there in one of the upper holes just for storage, right? So you can stand this right in here. And that's all there is to it. So it's a lot easier obviously to do this if you have the load and go. That's why I say they kind of go together. Right? I, I really think these two products, the Load and & Go and Muds Customs JD Deck Stand, by the way, 5% off code TTWT, will work very well together. I put my coat down and it wasn't 10 seconds afterwards that Martha decided he's got to go down and feel it. Now he's needing it for some reason. Got some bad news. Martha is uh, sick. He's, he's had several issues recently. We've had him to the vet more than he's been home, I think. But the most recent one is he somehow got his tail stuck in something. Um, the, the vet thought it was something like, uh, you know, a, a car ran over the tail and then he ran away from it. Well, we don't think that was exactly the situation, but somebody has got his tail stuck in something and he's pulled really hard and he's actually broken his tail off. Well, it's, inside it's broken. Yeah. And so it's kind of swollen there, and the veterinarian said it's going to have to be amputated. So poor Martha, he's got a girl's name, and now he's not going to have a tail. So kind of feel bad for him, and he's in a little bit of pain right now. Doctor can't give him anything because some other medicine he's on for the last problem we had with him. And, well, never thought I'd care so much for a silly cat, but kind of like Martha. Yeah. Hate to be the bearer of bad news, but... You don't have much longer to buy stuff for Christmas if you're getting it mailed anyway. Track your time with Tim Merch. I would say today's about your last day. We may be a day or so later than some merch items. They, they have various shipping days, but today's about the last day. Track your time with Tim.com slash shop for that. Um, but on the positive front, Isotunes has allowed us to have one big special that lasts three days starting now. It's on the Isotunes Pro 2.0. It's 30% off for three days only, uh, right here on your last shipping days, so from, from now, Friday, until Sunday. Use TTWT30, TTWT30 for your coupon code. Again, this only lasts three days, and it's only on the Pro 2.0. It's interesting, we looked at the order history, and I'm, I'm always talking about the Extra 2.0. Those are my personal favorites. But we saw that the Pro 2.0 was the second best seller, I believe, uh, for the year. It's uh, very similar to the Extra, but it's got a little loop here that will uh, allow it to go behind your ear and it kind of maybe helps to hold it in a little bit. You know, I don't use these style because I take mine in and out, in and out, and in and out to, 
to be able to talk to Christy or, or the customer or whoever I'm, I'm dealing with. Um, but if you're putting these in and leaving them all afternoon, this might be uh, the best solution for you. <sighs> yep, you've only got a, a, a few days. Now, if you're seeing this after this has expired, you've got two choices. One is use coupon code TTWT at isotunesaudio.com and you can get 10% off just like normal. The other approach is if you're in between the 12th and Christmas, you might go to your local Lowe's store. They have the Isotunes Plus. It's um, more of an entry level. It's a little bit less expensive than this. In fact, it's $40, $39.99. Isotunes Plus, you can get them at Lowe's. There's no coupon code there, but that might be a great option for last minute gifts. Here's the next system we've got, the Deck Dolly, okay? I've shown this before on the channel, actually quite surprised at uh, how many of you have, have purchased this deck dolly. It must really fit the bill for a lot of you, and that's a good reason that we're showing it again. This is not requiring the load and goes. Uh, there's really no need for them in this uh, uh, system. I've got them on here just because I love them, but uh, that makes this system a little less expensive. It's still not cheap, obviously, but I mean, nothing is. But you don't need the load and goes to make this work effectively. Where you really do need the load and goes to make the JD deck stands work effectively. Let me show you how this works. When it's in its full storage position, it is standing on four separate pads, four separate steel pads, and it makes it very sturdy. It's not gonna move, it's not gonna fall over on its own, it's very steady. When I pull it downward, eventually it comes down to where it's on the wheels. Okay, mine has dual wheels uh, on each side. I think that's an option. I think single wheels is, is a default. I think you can, you can purchase dual wheels. So this is how you would move the deck, right? Um, it's not heavy per se at this height. I'm guessing it feels like maybe 50 pounds, you know? Um, it's, it's not trivial, but it's not incredibly heavy. As you can see, this one fits perfectly with my 2019 and earlier deck, right? It fits right into the auto connect mechanism. Deck Dolly offers several uh, different models specific to the different models of John Deere deck, right? So this one is a perfect fit for this. They offer one for the 2020 and later model like I have on my new Johnny. Now, so these are specific fits. They also offer a universal fit which can be adjustable and fit decks from other models of deer decks as well as Kubota and, and several other models. Given that you can't get load and goes for these other model decks, it's something that I would uh, highly consider if I were you uh, to, to look at one of these deck dollies and see if uh, you can get one that will fit your deck. I'm gonna remove and then reattach this deck dolly to the deck so you can see exactly how it works. First thing I'm gonna do is lower the pin here. This is just like you would do on the tractor. Then I have to remove a rod up here. I pull out the key, I pull the rod out, right? and then I can simply back the, the deck dolly off. It's fully unhooked at that point. Now to put it on, again I just lower it right back here, let those bolts go right in there, pull it on until it auto attaches. Right? It latches for itself. I lower it here and put the rod back in. There we go. Put the key in and I'm ready to, to lift it and go. Now, this is a manual lift at this stage, right? I mean, it's not incredibly light. If you have the load and goes, that's better. But this is a lot lighter than trying to lift the deck closer to it. You do have some leverage that works in your favor. That's the deck dolly. Deck maintenance, storage, handling overall could hardly be easier on these deer mid-mount decks. I, I, people talk about a three-point hitch mower and how much handier that is. I, I just don't buy it. This is much, much easier to deal with than a three-point attach mower deck. We have nothing manual to connect because of the auto connect system that we've shown you repeatedly and everybody else has probably talked about too. 
But with these deck storage mechanisms, even the mundane work is made easy. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. I realize it wasn't a project video, but these are the types of products that I wanna see when I'm searching YouTube, something that helps make my life easier. And all of these products serve to do that. So check out mudscustoms.com, 5% off with code TTWT, deckdolly.com, 5% off with code TTWT, and greenpartstore.com slash TTWT, and code TTWT there gets you free shipping on anything, not just the load and goes. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time on Tractor Time with Tim. But when the set time had fully come, God sent his son, born of a woman, born under the law, to redeem those under the law that we might receive adoption to sonship.